video. I just talked kind of quiet because Kyle is sleeping. So I don't want to wake him, but I just woke up. I decided to vlog today. I feel like I haven't vlogged just like a normal day in my life in a long time. So I'm really excited to vlog today. Um, I need to get ready. I'm running a little late per usual in the morning, but yeah, just wanted to like catch up with you guys start a vlog off today i need to do my makeup but first let me show you guys <laughs> the state of my office it's actually kind of crazy this is the first time vlogging just like a normal vlog since i announced that i'm pregnant and yeah i'm really excited just to like resume normal content obviously now with like <laughs> In addition to the content um, but I am really excited to just like get back into it and hang out with you guys um, so I'm going to try to get back into weekly vlogs but there's lots of changes obviously <laughs> you can see some behind me as you guys know what this was my office um, I worked from home last year um, whenever I did like social media full-time when I went back to teaching really didn't get used too much Kyle would use it to study sometimes um, but other than that, we like never used it and we always knew this would be our nursery whenever baby came. So I'm really, really excited to turn it into a nursery. So let me just show you what we're working with so far. My office used to have like this big desk in it that we sold, this pink rug, if you remember, that we sold. I'm in the process of trying to like clear it out. But somehow I keep like putting more stuff in. So I feel like this is probably going to be more of like a summer project. I'm going to try to like sell all of the office furniture like in the next couple months. And then I'm very thankful that I have summers off from work. So I'll have all of June, July to prepare for baby. So I'll be able to like get the nursery ready and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll show you what it's looking like though. So, this is the state of the office right now. Kind of crazy. So I had like my big desk right here and the rug. We sold the rug and the desk, um, which did make a lot of space, but I've since then added things in here. This is becoming like a catch-all room. So I still need to sell all of this stuff. So um, I'm going to sell like this like buffet table back there which originally just held a bunch of like supplies. It actually held just like a bunch of like beauty stuff, like my hair tools and all that. Um, so we have to sell that. I'm selling all these picture frames, shelves and stuff, because we're obviously gonna do like all new decor in here. We're not selling this mirror. And all my friends were like, oh, can I have your mirror? <laughs> not selling that. We're just going to put that, I think, in our sunroom. Um, but yeah, that I think once like that stuff's gone, It'll be like, look way more cleared out and ready for baby. We did get a dresser for baby, which I'm really excited about, and a mirror. So I think the dresser and mirror will go on this wall eventually. All of these books and all this like extra stuff was what was in that buffet. Um, I cleared it out because I want to sell it, but now I have all this stuff just sitting here. So. I need to donate all these books. All of these books I've already read. Um, I just kept all of them because I never know what to do with books. And you know, it's like having a great time in here because there's so much to look at. Um, so I kept all these books, but I think I'm just going to donate them. Um, but yeah, and then we got a bassinet. We actually, a friend of a friend of ours gave this to us for free. This is the Halo bassinet. So we are so, so thankful. She also gave us this DACA top for free just so kind of her to donate this to us. Um, so this will be our bedside bassinet for the little guy. And my clothing rack will eventually go down in the basement. The closet is going to be a project for over summer. Right now my closet is, well, mine. <laughs> it has all of my stuff in it. Down here I already have like a little bag of baby boy's clothes that have been slowly accumulating. But all of these shoes, honestly, like 80% of them I don't even wear anymore and I need to sell them or donate them. I'm already accumulating some stuff for baby boy up there. Um, but all of these clothes and dresses are going to unfortunately just have to go in the basement. These are like my summer clothes. And then in the sunroom, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have like a closet in there that has all my winter clothes. Um, 
some of these are just like basics. I do have like some basic short sleeves and long sleeves, but anyway, <laughs> all of that's going to go down in the basement. All of these bags are gonna have to go down the basement. I'm going to get another clothing rack just like this one and basically just have a couple clothing racks that goes down the basement. That's what you get when you live in an old city home that doesn't have a lot of closet space. So yeah, that is kind of our situation at the moment, but I know it will all come together. I cannot wait to get started on decorating the nursery. I haven't bought really anything. The only thing I bought is that dresser off Facebook Marketplace because it's so cute. I can't wait to show you it. Um, I really, like some reason, envisioned a green, like an olive green dresser. And I saw that um, some woman like refurbished a vintage dresser and put it on Marketplace. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So I snatched that up um, for a really good price. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but I haven't bought like crib or glider or any of that stuff. I'm kind of waiting to buy all that stuff. So yeah, little bump date. I feel like this is like the first video where I can actually finally show my bump. It actually just looks like I um, ate a big meal. <laughs> it looks like I just ate like a bunch of tacos and I'm showing you guys my belly. But I can't wait until it actually like rounds out a little bit and looks like a baby bump. <laughs> but I'm excited. I feel like in all of my vlogs, I have been having to like hide my bump from you guys for the past like month. I mean, I didn't really have like a big bump, but like, you know, it's getting hard to like suck in and like from certain angles, you could definitely notice it in videos. So yeah, just like excited the news is out there, excited to be able to talk about it. And yeah, I'm sure I'm running extra late now so let's go ahead and do some makeup get dressed and get ready for work i also sold my cute pink desk chair that i had in here so now i have to do everything standing up basically resorting to leggings because it's still cold outside but once the weather gets warmer I will definitely be wearing lots of like dresses I feel like some like cute summer dresses skirts and stuff like that will look really cute with the bump um but right now it's just like nothing fits me in all my shirts right now too which is like really annoying um but yeah just wearing some sneakers today t-shirt cardigan and you're up in a bun on its way because it is rainy. I feel like I always forget how much rain comes in these spring months in Missouri. Like the weather's warmer, it's a little bit nicer out, but it's like storming every day. All right, I just showed up to work. It is Friday, don't know if I mentioned that, so it's gonna be a good day. We have had a long week this week, a long week last week, um, and then we have conferences next week um, before spring break. So we have kind of been in that like middle end of the year school hump, I feel like. We are super close to the end of the year, but like it also feels like so far away. Um, so we have a week off um, in March for spring break. And then basically when we come back, we have the whole month of April. And I feel like April is always such a long month because you don't get any breaks for some reason. It's like, I, I know I shouldn't be complaining about this because other people's jobs don't have these days off, but you never get like PD days, half days, like Fridays off, no like 
you know, breaks at all, which teachers really look forward to. It's always just like full five day weeks, um, which is fine. But I just always remember April being a really long month. But then like when you make it to May, it's like the end of the year, the weather's nice, it's summer, like everyone's in a good mood. So yeah, we really just have like April to make it through is what I keep telling myself. Um, but yeah, next week is parent teacher conferences, Wednesday and Thursday. And the, these are kind of like our last in-person conferences of the year. We do send out a like end of the year report card and comments and everything, but they're not in person. So um, we don't have to like stay after school until 7 p.m. every single day. So this is like the last hump of the school year <laughs> and I'm really excited. It's been a great year, but I'm definitely tired getting to that point at the end of the year. I'm like, okay, I'm really excited for a break. So spring break will be really, really nice. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, but I will be sleeping in and catching up on some much needed rest. <laughs> My co-teacher is out today, so it's just me and the kids today. So it's very, very rainy outside. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so we'll probably have indoor recess, but yeah, it's 7.45, so let's head on in. been quite the day already it's just been one of those days it's a Friday all the kids are just excited and have a lot of energy and don't feel like working <laughs> so I have just been like repeating myself so many times today and it's just been like chaotic and I've had to like check in with myself a few times today to like take a deep breath remember to have patience with them because they're just kids um, and then on top of that, this is such first world problems, but I ordered Breadco for lunch today and for some reason the drivers always have trouble. If you work at a school, you probably know it's like sometimes a hassle to get deliveries because they just have a hard time finding where to like bring it in. And we are on a big campus, so there's multiple buildings. So I understand it is like kind of tricky, but there's big signs on the buildings. So... Apparently they delivered it to the wrong building, um, so they have to like bring it down for me for me from the middle school building now. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of like been one of those days this morning when I was like walking out the door. I like kept forgetting things. I forgot my camera. I forgot my laptop. Like I had to like keep running from the garage to inside the house, like back and forth. And so you already know when your morning starts off like that, it's going to be one of those days. And it has in fact been one of those days. The kids are also just like on another level today. So trying to just like remember it's Friday, we get a break. At least it's not Monday starting off the week like this. We have a break. Um, and it's also like super cold and rainy. I just dropped the kids off at lunch and it's like pouring down rain, super cold. And I feel like the weather kind of like affects the kids too when it's different like that. So we're going to have indoor recess all day today. Like we'll, we are not going to be able to get fresh air at all, which is definitely necessary for kindergartners. Um, but yeah, so my Bradco hopefully, I think he said he's going to bring it down to me soon. I only have like 15 minutes left of lunch. I'm going to try to eat my lunch real quick and then pick up the kids and then we will have specials at the very end of the day and I will try to check in with you guys then. Okay, Whew. I just got back from dropping the kiddos off at specials. It has been a very long day and I am exhausted. There is nothing like being pregnant and being a kindergarten teacher. It is like a double whammy. I am almost 16 weeks pregnant and I have been having like crazy growing pains I think is what it is. I have had like round ligament pains and I just can like feel my belly stretching and growing. It's really weird. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll have like 
just it literally feels like your muscles are stretching like on the sides and then down where like my uterus is I feel like just like very like crampy and it feels like things are stretching it's really weird sorry if that's TMI for some of you <laughs> but yeah it's just the weirdest feeling to like feel your belly and everything inside shifting and growing um, as the day goes on it's very very odd feeling but my co-teacher's not here today and unfortunately when she's not here I can't go to the bathroom whenever I want and I have to be every 30 minutes so it has been a rough day of holding my bladder for much longer than I'm used to because I hate to bother people and ask people to like come watch my class for me <laughs> I have just been like suffering and holding it but I'm going to get some planning done during this plan time sorry it's a little dark in here I turned the lights off when my kids are doing their quiet time and I just never turned them back on hard to turn them back on once they're off because it's just like so cozy in here um but I'm going to do some planning and I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Scrintle and Scrintle has been a game changer when helping me plan for school every day if you're not familiar with Scrintle, it's basically a tool that helps you visualize your note taking. So it's an app that helps you convert all of those creative ideas into more structured knowledge and just helps you organize your life, which if you guys know me, you know I'm all about organization. Everything is always organized, whether it's my lesson plans for the day or my papers or my calendar, my planner, you name it. So this has just been another tool that I've added to my lesson planning ritual to help me stay even more organized. So it doesn't really matter kind of like what you're into, whether you're a teacher, whether you're just someone who likes to keep your daily schedule organized, whether you use it for work, whether you're a mom, you're a student, maybe you're in college right now. This would have definitely helped me whenever I was a student in college. I would have loved to have something like this. Um, whether you're a professional that wants to use this or you work in the corporate world, there's so many different ways to use Scrintle. I'm currently working on a board right now for next week by friday i like to have my next week fully planned monday through friday and i mainly just plan out my main subject areas so reading math and pbl are like longest instructional blocks so i'll put just like a little thing on the screen so you can kind of see what my board is starting to look like but i like to just mark what we're doing for math that day kind of what lesson we're on what to expect um just so i can take a quick glance at it and then i do the same for our reading block and for our project-based learning this has helped me immensely in just like organizing my thoughts and i kind of got away from writing my lesson plans in a planner and have definitely moved more to putting it on my laptop just because I always have my laptop in front of me and I always bring my laptop home with me so if I ever need to make adjustments or change it it's really easy to do so it's been really nice just to be able to bring Scrintle with me wherever I go it's like my traveling planner it's very user-friendly very easy to use the best thing about it is it doesn't matter what you use it for whether you're brainstorming whether you just want to organize some of your thoughts whether you're lesson planning whether you're organizing a meeting or you're in professional development and you want to take notes there's so many different ways that you can use it it's just a digital canvas that helps you kind of balance all of that chaos in your brain and have it more structured out in front of you it's very simple to use very easy to learn how to use I pulled it up started working on it the first day that I downloaded it um, and the great thing is is that you can share your ideas with others so there's an option to share so whatever board you're working on maybe you have a co-teacher like me my co-teacher and I we share our scrintle plans with each other so if I do need to make adjustments or she needs to make adjustments on it we can easily share it back and forth with each other if you're brainstorming during a meeting or if my co-teacher goes to professional development and needs to take notes for both of us she can easily share her note-taking which is really awesome overall it's just a great way way to organize all of your thoughts and put them all into one place if that's something that you guys are interested in whether you are a teacher like me or a student or a professional or maybe you just want to use this to organize all those thoughts in your head or maybe you want to use it to organize your personal life whatever way that you think it would help benefit you most I promise it can 
I love it so much. I will have a scrintle linked down in the description box down below and I actually have a code for you guys as well. If you guys would like to get a little discount, you can get 10% off using my code MADISON10, which I'll have on the screen. You can get 10% off of Scrintle Pro and I think that is valid for the next four weeks. So hop on it if you are interested, even if you would like to just try it out and see how you like it. I think it could really benefit you, especially if you're looking for a new way to start organizing your life or organizing organizing for the next school year. So yeah, thank you again to Scrintle for sponsoring today's video and I will have it all linked down in the description box below. I was watching that last clip that I just took and realized how like haggard I look just from like my skin breakouts to just my lack of care lately for my appearance. I told Kyle the other day, I was like, I just feel kind of ugly lately. <laughs> like, I'm so dramatic. He's like, what? I think just like a lot of pregnant women go through it. Um, I just like don't feel cute whatsoever. I look chubby and not pregnant. I'm not at that phase where everyone's like, oh, she's pregnant. I'm at that phase where they're like, mm, does she gain weight? And luckily everyone at my school knows I'm pregnant, but you know, I just don't feel cute. Everything's getting bigger and fuller and I'm getting paler by the minute because of these rainy days. Like I am just dying for some sun. My skin has progressively gotten worse. I wasn't sure if my skin would start to get better once I entered like my second trimester or something. I don't know. I just thought maybe it'd start getting better, but I'm starting to think it won't get better until after, sorry, I'm driving, until after I get, or after I have this baby. Um, and maybe not even then. Who knows if I'll ever have good skin again, but I don't know, guys. I just haven't been feeling good about myself lately. So I'm on my way to a workout class right now. I have started going back to Orange Theory. I did not work out my entire first trimester. Just did not feel up to it. I was tired. I didn't feel good. Um, just super low energy and low motivation. And I just like was too nervous to work out in my first trimester and now that I'm in my second trimester I have slowly started incorporating more exercises back into my routine. I went to Orange Theory for the first time last week and it felt really really good. I definitely have to kind of adjust how I work out. I can't work out quite as hard. I walk on the treadmill instead of run. I lift lighter weights and like I feel like the whole time I work out I'm watching how like heavy on breathing and they say you shouldn't like be out of breath ever when working out and I'm like I'm out of breath right now like I'm out of breath walking up the stairs so you better be out of breath working out but <laughs> I just try to like monitor my heart rate try not to get it like over 150 they say like over 140 150 isn't good I don't know there's also mixed opinions on that too like everything in pregnancy there's mixed opinions on so you never really know what's true or false right or wrong you just got to do what feels right so it felt really good last week so I'm going again today which I'm really excited about I just feel so much better after I work out and definitely hoping to get back into it and kind of like get back on a more consistent workout routine because I felt just like really down about myself lately and really lazy just not good about like how I look physically. I know that's like, that doesn't really have to do with like pregnancy and like my body changes. I know my body's going to change. I'm not scared of that. I want my bump to get bigger. I'm like excited to have a big baby belly and all of that stuff. Like stretch marks don't scare me, but I do still want to take care of myself and make sure that I don't just let myself go. That's just kind of how I've been feeling lately. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go work out and I'll check in with you guys soon. Okay, just left my workout. It was really good. I swear I'm either really out of shape or just everything is harder when I'm pregnant because I work out way less hard than I used to. Yet I'm still huffing and puffing the whole time. Um, yeah, it's definitely like different working out now because I just find myself worrying more. I'm checking my watch constantly to see if my heart rate's too high and it's always high. 
So then I have to take a second to like calm my breath down, catch my breath, get like my heart rate lower. Um, so I find myself just taking more breaks um, and just like worrying more. And like every exercise I do, I'm like, is this okay? Today they have like a lot of core work and I just don't really want to do a lot of core work while I'm pregnant. I know you can do some. And then there's like some core exercises that are not good to do when you're pregnant. I try to just do like very minimal core work. Um, and then, I don't know, I just feel like I'm very aware of my body and how my belly feels and just like certain movements, especially like laying on my back, I feel just like this like odd pressure down there and it just freaks me out. I just wanna make sure that like he's okay in there and I know there's plenty of women who work out when they're pregnant, like way harder than I am. There's a lot of women that like run cross country when they're pregnant, women that weight train when they're pregnant. So obviously I tell myself that and try to remind myself like he's okay, you can exercise, but I don't know. There's just this like added layer of worry now when I work out. So I just try to take it easy and move a little bit slower and more like mindfully. But yeah, I felt really good. Got in a good sweat, which always makes me feel good. Um, now I'm not sure what the plan is. Kyle and I, Kyle's off tonight, which is great. So we might go hang out with um, his sister and brother-in-law. They recently moved close to us. So we've been hanging out with them a lot. They have a little baby. Um, they just had their first baby in October. So it's just really fun to hang out with them and like see what it's like to take care of a baby. And we'll have one and just less than six months which is crazy so yeah it's really fun just hanging out with them and we've become really close with them so I think we're going to hang out with them tonight possibly but I am starving so I'm hoping to go get some dinner <laughs> and I need to go home and shower